So our AI updates on June 21, and again, there's a lot of updates in the AI area. And I want to start with Anthropic Sonnet version 3.5. So on this graph, you see uh, Anthropic has clawed three. Haiku is the smallest one, then Sonnet, and then Opus is the largest one. Now they released Sonnet, uh, Sonnet uh, new version 3.5. And uh, they promised to re release Opus and Haiku uh, later this year. But interesting about Sonnet, so it is a smaller model, not as big as Opus, but now it is faster, it is uh, more intelligent, and it is much cheaper. So you see here it's $3 per million input tokens and 15 for output. Output is, is always more expensive, right? So this is a great model and it has great uh, context uh, window length. It's uh, 200 uh, kilo tokens and it's great in reasoning. And so this table uh, compares it. So this is Claude Sonnet 3.5 compared to Opus, which is the huge model compared to GPT 4.0, which is the flagship uh, best model and uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro, this is latest from Google, right? And Llama 400B, well, the snapshot was uh, a couple of months ago. They promised to release uh, Llama 400B in July. I mean, Zach mentioned this, but anyway, ju just look at the numbers. So for example, graduate level reasoning, Claude 3.5, 59, and uh, Claude Opus is only 50, GPT 4.0 is 53. And, and, and so you go line by line and, and you see that it's a bit so on the level with the major competitors. And at the same time, it's cheaper, it's faster. So th th this is an amazing evolution. Okay, uh, this is uh, interesting. I really like Olama. Olama is an open source project on, on GitHub, uh, uh, allowing you to run models locally on your computer. And one of the recent features is that you can run models in parallel, or you can have several connections to the same model. All you need to do is to provide uh, these parameters in your environment before you start a llama. And this is example of code, uh, which is uh, using this parallelism. And uh, well, as you can see, it's uh, not difficult. And here's YouTube video and GitHub and a blog post about it. Okay, uh, next is uh, calling models without Langchain and Llama index. I am uh, doing a project where I started with Langchain agents and found uh, them very unreliable, uh, difficult to work with. Uh, eventually uh, removed the agents, uh, started using my own logic and uh, still using Lang Langchain. And now I removed Langchain completely. and. Uh, things became so much easier. So for example, uh, this just one procedure here, which handles uh, uh, both uh, Alama calls or OpenAI calls, depending on the model. So it has some logic asking, okay, which model I'm using, then uh, do this or do this. And this is how you call the model example for Alama. And this is how you call the model for OpenAI very easy i mean th this you, you you have to provide uh, a content in in a cer certain format and you see it's different for alama and for openai but it's amazingly short uh, a piece of code which handles everything um, and uh, langchain is uh, just a wrapper uh, around uh, a lot of systems many people like it because it's all in one place but on the other side it is uh, buggy uh, documentation is not like uh, inconsistent to what you're actually downloading they're changing things uh, very fast so i realized i'm better off without it it's just easier to debug and understand exactly what's going on um, some of the utilities they have like connecting to databases well all databases have their apis anyway 
I can use those. Or if they have text splitter, like in sentences, whatever, you can just use NLTK or other libraries which existed for many, many years. So it's not a big deal. So I, I'm done with the link chain, <laughs> no, no more. Um, okay, uh, this is a very interesting video. Like I really uh, love uh, Matt Berman. So he was testing a Dell computer he received. So this is this uh, Dell computer. And it has uh, two NVIDIA RTX A6000 ADA GPUs. So each one of those GPUs has uh, 48 uh, gigabytes of uh, uh, memory. So it's total of 96 GPU memory, which is huge. And he was running multiple models, like 10 models in parallel. Uh, very good performance. What's interesting that you can just go on Dell website and they have AI technologies now. And they have laptops and they have desktops and they have uh, array like of prices from $2,000 to $30,000 and more depending on all your needs. Um, so here, for example, I tried to find a configuration uh, similar to what he was uh, showing. And uh, you see the price is about $24,000. And so these are all like selections uh, uh, for this system. Anyway, so th th this is really good. This is great actually, because uh, Dell is a major provider and you can just go there on the website and order AI workstation for yourself and uh, be happy with that. Because before that, it was extremely expensive. Now it is becoming affordable. Uh, next revolution in uh, hardware is, of course, Snapdragon laptops. So, so Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, moving from mobile devices uh, to computers. And you see Dell, Lenovo, Asus, Samsung, Microsoft Surface, Acer, HP. They all now offer uh, these computers. They may have uh, up to 64 gigabytes of memory. Uh, the chip, uh, the Snapdragon Exalite, contains uh, CPU, GPU, and NPU, NPU so the neural processing um, unit. And uh, the GPU doesn't support uh, CUDA, but NPU can be used to run PyTorch. So I haven't seen uh, any tests of uh, running PyTorch, of running LLMs, but it, it becomes uh, maybe a viable solution. And uh, the prices are very low. So most of the computers, you just go on these websites, you will see like twelve, thirteen hundred uh, dollars So it's a little bit more than a thousand. With 64 uh, gigabyte of memory, you would go maybe up to 2000. Uh, but still, it's quite affordable. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube, like here, for example, comparing Microsoft versus Samsung. Both are Snapdragon Exalite. Or here, the Snapdragon versus Mac, uh, actually MacBook Pro with the latest M3 chip. And I really like Dave uh, 2D. He does great uh, reviews and uh, comparisons. So anyway. Next, uh, Ilya Zutskever. So he left OpenAI, where he was main AI architect, and he is starting a new company, which is called uh, Safe Superintelligence Inc. Uh, so they announced it um, on the tweet, and here I copied the text from this tweet. So this is a split American Israeli company. These are three founders Ilya Zutskever, Daniel Gross, and Daniel Levy. And uh, yeah, we'll see. So their goal is to create. So they're starting with saying that super intelligence is within reach. So it will come soon. And the, the main uh, problem is how you make it safe. And that's what the company will be doing. It is for profit company. It's not non, non for profit. Uh, but the only goal is to create a safe uh, AI, safe super intelligent intelligence. Uh, next, uh, NVIDIA Nematron 4340B. So it's a family of open source AI models released by NVIDIA and uh, models are designed to generate synthetic data for training LLMs. And also it has a reward model to enhance the quality of responses generated by AI models. 
very interesting. So they have a NEMO framework for building models, and then they have uh, this uh, to uh, to train and improve the models. And they claim that they are uh, getting models to become better than uh, GPT-4.0. So this is recent development, uh, very, very interesting. Google now offers a pure web search. So you see, this is the new bar of Google search. You have all web videos, images, and shipping. So because when you search now, you basically have all where it gives you some summaries and images and videos and everything. A web will be just pure web. So this is not in effect yet, but this is coming. A deep seek coder version two very interesting so you see this blue is this new deep sea coder and you see it's always either on the top or close to it on uh, diff different tests so it's uh, again great achievement uh, best uh, well arguably uh, coder like uh, and architecture is a mixture of experts it's open source and uh, here are like a github and youtube video describing it Okay, uh, yet another course from deeplearning.ai, Andrew Eng, and this is uh, function calling and data extraction with LLMs. Uh, they always come with uh, good courses. Uh, NVIDIA growth is amazing. Last week, at some point, it, uh, its capitalization became more than um, Microsoft <laughs> uh, for a day or two. I, I was not uh, like, um, how to say, tracking it very closely, but they're very close and given NVIDIA growth, maybe it actually will become uh, like steadily more than uh, Microsoft. Okay, uh, Dell, NVIDIA and Super uh, Microcomputer building AI factory for uh, Elon Musk's uh, XAI. So it's supposed to have 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs and should be fully operational uh, in, uh, in a year or maybe a year and a half. Okay, uh, Runway Gen 3 Alpha, another Sora AI video competitor. Okay, uh, Meta released a bunch of new models, uh, a lot of them. I just want to mention Meta Chameleon uh, because we spoke about it before. So this is a family of what's called early fusion models. They operate on images and text tokens simultaneously and the training starts on both types of tokens earlier. So it, it's not like uh, you first train for images and for text separately and then you combine them. No, here you actually train for, from, from the start. So this, this is the paper, this is a code and, and model. Uh, Sub-object level image tokenization. The idea of this article is that when you have image, how you uh, tokenize it. Uh, and uh, well you can do it by identifying uh, shapes kind of segmenting it and uh, go smaller and smaller so this is uh, again interesting approach okay uh, decagon uh, so this is a startup and they uh, raise money to build human-like ai agents for customer support well they're already doing it uh, they are handling uh, support for companies like Eventbrite, uh, Rippling, Webflow, Build, and uh, Substack. Uh, very interesting. Uh, Claudette, uh, uh, this is a convenient Python library to work with Claude models. So, so this, this is the link. And this, this is example of code, how simple it is. So you do pip install Claudette, import Claudette, uh, chat, uh, chat uh, you give the model one of uh, several which claude provides here is a system message system prompt uh, you are helpful assistant and uh, you give it a question like why is the sky blue and then you print the response so it's really that that simple uh, okay the last uh, screenwriter this is a movie and the, <laughs> the screenwriter for this movie is actually chat gpt and uh, yeah it's talked everywhere about it so you can go to the website and uh, I'm doing, like reviews and so on you can watch it apple apple usually was very closed but now things changed and they're contributing a lot of models and data sets on hugging face 
So this is the page on Hugging Face. There are uh, something like 368 contributors, and there is a long page with a, a lot of things they contribute. Um, so things change, people go um, open source. Okay, uh, factory.ai, uh, what they do, they do AI powered software development. And uh, very interesting. And uh, they just raised uh, money, so it's a successful startup. Uh, Microsoft, OpenAI, and NVIDIA working with US federal agencies in case critical AI systems get attacked. Planning the first joint simulation of cyber attack on mine, uh, major critical AI systems. So this is the um, uh, page about it, uh, describing this effort. Okay, self-hosting LLMs on cloud um, actually uh, more expensive uh, than oh gosh, what I'm going doing uh, than uh, using standard APIs. Okay, uh, this is uh, bad. Okay, um, so what the author of this uh, blog article uh, did, he uh, tried to estimate the cost when when you go on the cloud and let's say it's um, amazon cl cloud aws and you rent a computer with gpus so you're paying something like three thousand dollars a month and uh, then you really load it with uh, llm calls and uh, see see what it comes to in comparison to if you just use uh, let's say gpt uh, OpenAI GPT or, or something like that, and uh, yeah, the comparison is not like <laughs> in favor of self-hosting on the cloud. Well, if you're buying the server and you self-host uh, locally in your office, it may be a different story, of course. Okay, AI in finance. Uh, this is very interesting report by Citigroup, and what they're saying is that in banking and insurance. Uh, approximately half of all the jobs can be outsourced to AI very quickly. And also they report, uh, this report predicts that banks will hire more AI managers and compliance officers. Well, if half of their workforce will be outsourced to AI, <laughs> they, they will need to manage it somehow, right? Uh, Meta Llama 3 400B, so this huge uh, Llama model is still not released. Uh, but they promised to release it in July. Okay, uh, next is uh, Micrograd. Th this is interesting project from uh, Andre Karpathy. So what he wrote in his tweet here is that these 94 lines of code, are everything that is needed to train a neural network, everything else is just for efficiency. And th th this is the basic. So he says that uh, sometimes he just goes back to this code to have some like breathing <laughs> space looking that actually that uh, foundation is quite simple okay uh, this is crowdsourced arena leaderboard again only english queries the green circles uh, mark the open source models uh, so you see that the top open source model is llama 370b it's instruct it still uh, keeps this uh, place Nematron uh, from NVIDIA, remember I, I spoke about it earlier, so it follows here. And then we have Quent 272B. Um, I'm currently using Quent 27B uh, Instruct, uh, I mean, it's really good and very and small. Uh, Yi, uh, another Chinese model, Lama 3 8B, Quen, uh, Mixtral 822B, this is actually a pretty big model, and Quen okay, 72. Uh, but anyway, um, on the top, we still have uh, OpenAI, and, so, and uh, Gemini, this is Google. So you see GPT, 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 and Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, uh, so this is information about layoffs. Uh, just to calm people down because people always tell oh the job market is terrible no job market is not terrible it's pretty good and uh, it's not a lot of layoffs especially in comparison with previous year okay uh, this is me as usual and uh, thank you